Before I start this video, I have to say a huge thank you to Muhammad for the $5 donation. You rock, sir. You're one of the people that keep this channel ticking, and I cannot thank you enough. What's up, guys? Graham here. If you left a comment in the comment section of the last weekend video, then you are entered into the giveaway of a Typhoon edition of the new expansion. And the winner of that is... Bam! Right there. Enjoy your Typhoon Edition. We will be sending it to you just shortly. And if you do not need it, then let us know. That way we can get it to whoever you would like us to send it to. This week's giveaway is anything you want from the Rift Store as long as it's 5,000 credits or less and it is giftable. And yes, you can add a bunch of stuff to equal up to 5,000 credits. You don't have to just pick one thing. You can pick multiple things if you're picking small credit things. So keep that in mind. The rules are simple. All you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server and make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit that like button. The winner will be announced in the next weekend video at which point we will send you a message on YouTube so make sure you check your YouTube inbox for that message so we can find out what you want from the Rift store. Good luck everyone. It's that time once again for the state of PvP, and this time in the month of February 2015, and a few things have changed, so let's get right into it. 3.1 is upon us, and with it comes some big changes to classes, and it's having a rather large effect on PvP. Mainly the change to Reaver Warriors. Now, Reaver was always like a, a tank soul back in the day, and it became a DPS soul not too long ago, and it was pretty bad at that time. Well, it's gotten buffed once again, and this newest buff has made it very viable in Warfronts. What makes it so good? Well, the fact that it debuffs healing, and that's a huge deal in Warfronts. If you apply a particular dot to an opponent, he will receive 15% less healing from the healers on his team. And if you apply a dot to a healer, it will make it to where the heals that they cast will be reduced by 15% as well. Now that's a pretty big deal, but how easy is it to apply these dots to people? It is actually as easy as pushing one button. Basically, you can cast a particular ability and hit your original target and it will fan out and hit everybody around them as well. And that makes it to where everybody's going to be debuffed with all of the Reaver Dots and all of the healing is going to be reduced for the entire area right there. Sounds like one heck of a support class, doesn't it? Well, it's not being played as a support class, it's a primary class because the single target damage from Reaver is also very, very good. That just makes the soul even better and everybody is playing it for the most part if you're playing a warrior in Warfronts because it can stay at range, it can debuff all the healing, and it can kill people very easily. Now if you'd like to see how to play that particular soul in a video, I did make a build video so just click on that link right there and you will be able to see the particular video I'm referring to and be able to own it up in Warfronts just like every other Reaver. The other soul that got a very massive buff is Marksman Rogue. Now in the past, Marksman Rogues were very good at running around and kiting people because their mobility was through the roof with their abilities like Swift Shot increasing their movement speed and all of that. So whenever the buff happened to Marksman Rogues just recently, we thought it would be even better of a mobility spec and higher damage. Well, it got changed to a bit less mobility and higher damage by far because now their abilities are hitting extremely hard, but some of the key abilities make your movement speed go slower. So whenever their burst is happening, they move at 50% less speed and then they have a particular skill called Calculated Shot that actually strips all their movement buffs. So you really have to think about the soul in a whole different light than you did in the past, but it's getting even stronger because in a recent patch they made it to where marksman abilities 
are not affected by the PvP restrictions. So now things like Empowered Shot are hitting extremely hard and people are dying very easily in Warfronts from Marksmen. So it's a very powerful soul. You just have to make sure that you're playing it right and you can decimate everybody as well. Now if you'd like to know how to play that particular build, I do have a build video for it and it is right there. Go ahead and click there and you will be able to see my particular Marksman Rogue build video and own it up just as well as the Reavers are. The next subject I'm getting into is not one that I'm really liking talking about, but it's something that needs to be addressed because it's having such a negative effect on the game, and that is the amount of exploiters in Rift. Now, if you've been watching any of my recent videos, you know I did one that I was exposing some exploiters that were finding a way to go up into the spawn area of gar station and basically they were able to spawn camp people well i caught them on video doing it and i was able to kill both of them and then get it all on video for you guys to watch and report these guys just like i did well these guys were apparently doing some other exploits as well where they would grab the stones in whitefall steps or the fang and black garden and bring it back to their spawn area of their team to where the enemies could not have access to the objectives and that caused a big ripple as well because all of a sudden Tryon was not only fixing one exploit but now they found another and it caused a lot of problems for those that were involved in the war fronts with these guys luckily after catching it on video Tryon acted very fast and in the next hot patch they fix it to where nobody could do those exploits anymore but as usual when it rains it pours and all of a sudden a lot of people are getting busted with exploiting including a lot of big name raiders and pvpers now what these guys were doing is they found a way to make it to where they were unkillable now somehow they made it to where their hit points would be at zero and they could go into raids and down all the raid bosses in that instance and they could do it solo. So all these big PVPers and PVEers were going in there and solo down in all the bosses in these raids and getting all the raid gear, all the marks, and all the things that they wanted without ever dying. Now they tried to be smart about it and not kill any bosses that haven't been killed yet and they tried to focus on ones that were already on farm or at least the ones that their guild has already downed. Because if they killed any of the bosses that haven't been downed yet, you better believe a big spotlight would be broadcast all over them right then. But Tryon found out what happened and they busted all of these guys and all of their accounts were banned immediately. Shortly after, we started seeing a bunch of posts on the forums of people admitting their guilt to doing this particular exploit. Apparently Tryon told them that if they posted on the forums and let everybody know that they cheated and that they were sorry about it, then they would have a chance of getting their accounts back. Now I don't want to do any naming and shaming, but if you're the type of person that you want to know exactly who did the things, then that's the whole point of that post on the forums and they wouldn't have had these guys post if they didn't want people to know who it was. So I will put a link in the description below this video and go down there and check it out if you're that curious of a person. Now the thing that should be said about these people that we're exploiting is a lot of them are very big figures in the PvP community as well as the raiding community. That raises the question in that these guys are normally very positive figures in the PvP community and also the rating community so should we allow them to get their accounts back or should we have an iron fist and say that these guys should be perma banned? I would love to see what you guys have to say about it all in the comment section below this video. I will read every one of your comments. I'm very interested in what you guys have to say about it all. That basically sums up this edition of the State of PvP and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe for future content. As usual guys, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.